So guys, in this video, we're going to learn how we can use PowerPoint presentation to uh, summarize our CNG project and also use it as a difference for our course, which is CNG 291. Welcome engineers. So now with this video, at the end of this video, you're going to learn a lot of things from this video. That means you're going to learn how to edit with PowerPoint presentation and also you are going to um, get some tips for defending your um, CNG project. Let's get going. So with this, I have four templates. That is four work. I have four works done by um, engineers. That is now they'll be in level 300, including some of my friends. So I'm going to bring them out one by one and teach you the way. So you can choose any of these templates and then good to go either way. So let's get going. So the first one I'm going to talk about is this. So let me do it like this. So now, as you can see for this one, um, with this, when you're starting for the PowerPoint presentation, you can use this template. Now, when using the template, don't use, um, don't use a template which is very uh, complex, but use a simple one. So first, you need to have the course name CNG engineering society that's cnd 291 then the topic that you choose please the topic that you chose be careful with the community make sure you use the community that you chose because some lecturers actually that happened to a friend of mine like he he sent the topic to the lecturer but when he was going to present with a powerpoint he changed the um auxiliary verb and the lecturer told him that that's not his project so be careful then Presentation by Benjamin Obey, that's a friend of mine. Then you go to the next page, which is outline. So the outline is description of community, nature, and characteristics of problem, finding and discussion of results. And these are all things that you need to do. So it depends on what you do. So remanufacturing of plastic beans into metallic beans, usage of plastic beans, and completion and recommendation. So when you're done with this, then you go. Now, this is the description of community. So in your report, you know that you use a map from Google Earth to do that. So what you need to do is that you type the same thing here. Look at this. You use bulletin. I prefer to use nice bulletin. Yes, do not use star, but use bulletin. How do you do bulletin? I think from your project, you know how you did bulletin. So um, I don't know whether I should go through, but for well, I'll that's it. So you do that and you explain the community. Note, you need to, it's a picture, so you need to indicate the picture. So there's a red sign shows my vicinity near Okanque East. So this is it. In which chant time is situated. Then you go to nature and community, uh, the nature and the characteristics of the problem. So you need to have the pictures by yourself. You need to take them by yourself. So these are the pictures that we took by ourselves. So this is not, this is not an online picture. And you after you will make sure you reference the picture. So this is it. And you will describe the nature and the problem of the community. Then you go to your finding and discussion of results. So what causes that and what causes that? So you need to bring that one. Then you go to how you can solve the problem. So manufacturing of plastic, uh, the metallic beans. So these are the ways. And these pictures are from online. Yeah, with this, you don't need to reference it because you reference them in your report already. So this is it. So done. Then conclusion. You do your conclusion. Then recommendation. Now, see, this is just a summary of it. Now, what I'll tell you is that whatever you do in the presentation, you should understand any word that you use because based on your your um, your solution, that is anything that you see should be to be used against you. So be real that with the presentation that you've done, it's really going to help. So recommendation that's the end of the slide, and the slide should not be more than ten slides. That's what I was told. Should not be more than ten slides. So let's go to the second one. That is. A friend of mine, which is called, um, this is the best friend of mine, Dokas, yeah, in Japan. And she also did like this. She is a pinky girl, right? So I think she loves pink. Yeah, so this is proper recycling of electronic waste in Agubulushi. Presentation by a Japan Dokas, in Yama. And this is March 2022. So he, she included the date. Then you go to the outline, the same thing, nature of community, proper recycling of electronic waste. This note that the PowerPoint presentation is just a summary. Whilst you are um, presenting, 
you should have some of your report in your head. All your report, whatever you wrote in your report, should be in your head so that you can defend it, that you did it. So this is just showing the map of it. So you need to know this and that, then that. So this is it. Then the nature and the characters of the problem. So you have this observation. And these are the pictures she took with her phone. So with this, these are just summary, but the lecturer is going to ask you based on what you're seeing because you're defending what you did. Proper recycling of this one, and then you come to conclusion recommendation. And this is no more than 10 slides, as you can see, very short. Let's go to the third one, which is this. What she did was this her own. So she included Comic Con University of Science and Technology, Department of Material Engineering, C Engine, and the topic, the name, index number, and the date. So you can also do it like this. Then presentation outline. This is how she did this. Then analysis of problem. This is how she did this. So justification of problem. Continuation. That is how uh, she did hers. And I think this is also good for you to go through it like that. And it's very good. Thank you. And there's 13 slides. And the last one that is this guy, a friend of mine. And he too he did this. He used the template from Common Common University of Science Technology. Thought on replacement of wooden wood bridges with durable and cheap materials in Zamrama line. So she went to the he went to the outline, and if you can see, it's the same. It followed the same pattern because it's a very nice way of doing it. So description of area of study, nature and character of problem, then um, living organisms. All this also was done. Now, what you must know is that when doing the presentation, your presentation must be brief because your time limit. I think is more than. Is it five minutes or seven minutes for you to stop presentation? And when you start, the lecturer will also time you. When your time is up, it's up. And if you're not able to defend your time or you're not able to defend your report using a presentation, then your time is up. Then is a um, the decision of the lecturer to assess you or not because you're not able to follow. So you need to train yourself after you've done your presentation. Be in the room or call some people and try to present to them and see the ideas of what you've done. Right? Yes. Now, maybe um, you want to ask any question. Um, any question, then you can check on the link that's the description of this video and just go there. My email is just test me and then I'll give you my WhatsApp number with that. Okay. And also, if you are going to treat differential equation in next semester or in your life, kindly check the description of this video. There's a playlist of differential equation. And also, there's another video that shows the three books for differential equation. And I bet when you use those, those books, it's going to help you a lot. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you like the video. Thank you.